channel. If this is your first time checking me out, welcome. My name is Aisha. I'd love it if you subscribe down below and join the fam. Oh my god, it feels so good to say that. Guys, I literally have not sat down and filmed since June 16th and I remember that day exactly because it was the day of my graduation. That's when I filmed my chit chat get ready with me um, for my graduation and I just, I haven't filmed and it's literally been three weeks since I sat down and filmed. But yeah, this just feels really, really good and I'm so glad to be in front of the camera talking to you guys today. So today I'm going to be going over some of my current favorites, sort of my June favorites as well, just kind of mixed all into one. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of a chit chat sort of life update before I get into my favorites. But if you're just here to see my favorites from last month, then you can just fast forward to this time frame right over here. and. And I will begin with my favorites but if you do want to stick around and <laughs> hear um, some of my life updates from VidCon and LA and hitting 100,000 subscribers and just everything like that then definitely keep on watching so guys I have not sat down and filmed a video since we hit 100,000 subscribers which is crazy of course I did mention it in my vlogs and everything but I don't know it feels a little different just sort of like setting out some time and talking to you guys about it I hit 100,000 subscribers on June 16th, the day of my graduation, which was a double milestone, the coolest, amazing, most special day of my life, and that might be a little dramatic, but honestly, it was just such a monumental moment for me because, um, I don't know, I just never imagined ever having 100,000 subscribers on my channel. Like, when I started, I never thought this channel would go anywhere. I literally just started posting videos because I enjoyed editing videos and making videos for myself and I'm like, let me just post it onto YouTube because that's what the cool kids are doing. And here I am today, so... I just want to say a huge thank you for just being so supportive with my channel. <sighs> Every time I start this, I start crying, so I'm not gonna cry, but... <laughs> I just, I love you guys so much, and um, you would have heard a little bit about my YouTube story if you watched my VidCon vlog, uh, my main stage event, which, oh my god, guys, the response that I got from that video, I was not kidding when I was saying all over Snapchat and Twitter that I was literally crying, tearing up after reading some of your comments. They just like warmed my heart. Like I don't know. I just felt so loved and so supported from all, so supportive, so supported <laughs> from all of you guys. And I don't know what I did to deserve such an amazing group of strangers that support me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. And I know it might not seem like a lot. Um, Hundred thousand subscribers in the grand scheme of things. Like people have more than that. Um, and have gotten more than that in a lesser time than I have, but it's just, it's special. I don't know. It just feels really good, so thank you. Um, also, VidCon. VidCon was one of the coolest experiences of my life. Um, honestly, it was crazy to me that I was even there. Like, even just being in the moment, I was like, is this really my life? Like, the friend that I was with, I just kept turning to them being like, what is my life right now? I just feel so blessed and so... It was just such a cool experience and meeting a ton of really inspiring YouTubers. I'm really passionate about YouTube, guys, and every time I talk about it, I start tearing up. <laughs> it was just really cool, okay? Sitting next, in, or sitting in between Tia Mori and Ingrid Nelson, I was literally like, this has to be a dream. And it wasn't. It was my reality. So I can only imagine how many more opportunities, inshallah, that I'll be able to get um, or earn through me being on YouTube. And it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for your endless support. I always say thank you. I never want it to seem ingenuine because tears again. It is very genuine. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can tell. Since I never talked about this on my YouTube channel either, um, the day I actually was flying back from VidCon, I had to be carried out of the airplane on a wheelchair and then drove it off on this little cart and then onto another wheelchair because my foot literally turned to the size of an elephant. I don't want to insert a picture because it's really traumatizing. <laughs> well, it's not that dramatic, but like, it was, it was 
big. It was real big. So I had messed up my leg. I believe maybe I rolled my ankle while wearing heels or I just wore heels for too long. And then um, I kept walking on it because I was in LA for a full week. And then I had a blister on the back of my foot which then proceeded to get infected because I didn't cover it when I went to the beach. And then mixed with a five hour flight my feet always get swollen on a flight, but this time it was 10 times worse because my foot was already swollen from the strain that I had. And it was a mess, but I got antibiotics. Alhamdulillah, it's getting better now. I kind of strained it a little. Um, I went to a, an event yesterday with Garnier and I walked on it for too much, but it's getting better. It's getting better, so I just feel really, really happy and that's why I can't stop talking. <laughs> I need to do a chit chat get ready with me. I wasn't gonna film this today, but I was like no they deserve a video And I really just miss talking to you guys. So yeah, I Don't know what else to talk about, but I will be doing a video reacting to my first video ever that I posted on this YouTube channel um, and maybe Maybe something else I don't know, maybe I'll give a little bit of my YouTube story and then show that, so yeah. And then also, I finally convinced my brother to do the, uh, my brother does my makeup challenge, so he will be doing my makeup, you guys will see that sometime next week, so make sure you're subscribed. But anyways, after that literal seven minute long intro, <laughs> um, let's get on to my favorites of the month. So the next couple... Wow, okay. <sighs> let's let's try that again. Um, so the next couple favorites is actually a duo that I have been loving. Oh my god, guys. These are the only two foundations that I took with me to VidCon. Um, and I took them specifically because I know both of them are really long wearing. They look beautiful on the skin. Um, but the only thing is the Lancome one no longer really suits my skin tone. I don't know if I got darker generally in the past like year and a half, but... I need to like switch to like 500 or something because I feel like that would suit my skin tone better but this one is actually too dark for me this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation in N8 Cappuccino so these two together have actually been a huge favorite and the, as I mentioned these were the only two foundations that I took with me to VidCon and those days were really long like I would wake up at 7 a.m. put my makeup on by like 7 30 and have it on till literally like past midnight uh, so, and it lasted, like, no creases, it looked beautiful on the skin. I don't know, they look very, very skin-like. It is full coverage, but it makes it look like your skin. Like, it doesn't look cakey or anything. I'm thinking of doing a, um, what's it called? Like, a summer foundation routine or something like that. Just showing you guys, like, my full base for when I want to slay literally all day. Um, and just make sure it is budge-proof. Budge but still looks very glowy and dewy and natural looking, natural looking. Um, so let me know if that would be a video you guys would be interested in. But yeah, I'll have these two linked down below in case you want to read more into them or anything. But just to let you know, um, the True Match one is oil free all day wear. And it says it's for all skin types, I believe. And then the Lancome Tinted Oil, it does have SPF 15 in it, but I don't experience any flashback. And um, yeah. It's just, it's really, really good. This is the NYX Shine Killer Primer, and it looks like this. And this one had, like, like after I started using it, I just kind of wanted to see what people were saying about it. Um, and people don't really love this, but I do. I don't know. I really like it. I love how it makes my skin feel. I feel like it's kind of like a mattifying primer and also a smoother in one. It kind of has that silicone feel but it doesn't clog my pores and doesn't break me out either which I find, um, what's it called, the Smashbox one, I forget, the photo finish or something, photo focus, photo finish I think it is, that one breaks me out but this one doesn't and I just really really love it. It's called Shine Killer, it's meant to be mattifying and kill all the shine on your face and I think it does a really great job at that. Um, this was one of the only primers I wore during VidCon as well, and it kept my makeup on as well as the foundation. So, I really like this. I think it's really small though. Don't know why it's so small. It's not even one fluid ounce, but I do really like this product. So, if you haven't given it a try, I would try it out. Um, but again, if something works for me, it may or may not work for you. But if you have bought into some of my recommendations in the past, then you might like this if you like my taste. Next, I am really excited about this because um, I finally found a drugstore loose setting powder that 
is amazing. So this is by Maybelline and I owe it to, who was it? Alyssa Ashley or Ashley Alyssa? I always get her name messed up and I always mention her. Um, but she did a review on this comparing it, I think, to the Laura Mercier one. I think. I'm pretty sure it was the Laura Mercier. And it looked amazing. So I went on Amazon and I found it and I bought it. So yeah, I believe you can get this at Ulta if you live in the US, but if you live in Canada, I will have the Amazon link down below. Sometimes the price fluctuates, so I'm sorry if it's kind of expensive. I bought it for like only 10 bucks though. So the only complaint that I have about this is that it doesn't have like a twist cap, like it literally just like pushes down. So it's kind of messy to travel with because sometimes it can open in your bag and then powder flies everywhere. But other than that, the product is so good. This one is in the shade medium, so I'm guessing they have different shades. I don't think they have anything darker than this though, but for what I use it for, um, it works perfectly. I keep the powder puff in there, not because I use it, but because it kind of covers the holes in case the lid does open. So it's not quite like clear or translucent, it kind of has some color to it, but it's a really, really nice undertone for deeper skin tones, I feel like, um, or for medium to deep skin tones, and it doesn't give me flashback, it sets my foundation really well, and it mattifies really well as well. So a lot of the times I will mix this in with my Laura Mercier Medium Deep, but if I do want a nice like highlighted action underneath my eyes, then I will just go in with this by itself. So I've been really enjoying this and it's super like smooth and silky. Again, the packaging sucks, but for the price and how well the product works, I think it is totally worth it. So definitely check it out if you're interested in a drugstore loose setting powder. Oh, by the way, I literally have not touched my banana powder ever since getting this, which says a lot. Staying on the powder theme, this is the NYX No Filter Powder, and it looks like this. This is actually a powder foundation, I believe. Well, this is a finishing powder, but I use this as a bronzer, so I have the shade Mahogany. This reminds me so much of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the way that, well, first of all, it kind of looks like it, like the dome effect, but then it also kind of has like little shimmers all throughout. If you did use this to set your face, you wouldn't really see the shimmers. It just kind of gives like a natural glow, but I feel like it's perfect for bronzer because of that, because it just makes your skin look very luminous and very natural looking. It's not too heavy, and I think it's beautiful. So I've used this in many tutorials in the past. You can just kind of go in my videos from the past month in June, and I have pretty much used this, and I love it so much. And I've actually seen a lot of you guys purchase it and I use trackable links in my description box, so I've seen a lot of you purchase this as well. So I really hope you guys are enjoying it, um, and it has been like one of my favorite bronzers. I still love my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil, but when I want kind of like a bronze and contour in one, then I go for this. I also tend to get a lot darker in the summertime, so I find this is perfect for that because, I don't know, it just kind of works. Um, I also never mentioned throughout this video, I'm not wearing any makeup. I have a little bit of brow in, I just kind of like brushed them up and filled in any um, sparse edges or whatever, but I didn't really feel like wearing makeup in this video. Not that I feel like I have to mention it, but in case you're wondering why I don't have a beat face, which I usually do, <laughs> um, that's why. But yeah, love this stuff. If you're looking for a drugstore bronzer, definitely check it out. I will have a whole video on my favorite bronzers for deeper skin tones, um, sort of in my top five series. You guys really enjoyed my highlighting one. and. Yeah, so you guys will see this as well as some of my other favorite bronzers for deeper skin tones as well. This one, bomb.com. So I have a drugstore highlight favorite as well. This is the Milani 02 Candlelight Highlighter. It looks like this, it kind of reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream, is that what it's called? I don't really know, but it has kind of a blush color, whoops, a blush color right over here and then a bronzier color and then a champagne sort of color here. Um, a lot of you were asking where to purchase this. I'm not 100% sure. I did receive this at an Ipsy event that I went to um, in LA in January. Uh, but I believe you can order it online. So I will try, try to have uh, the links for it down below. But I love this highlighter. This was one of the only highlights that I wore when I went to VidCon as well. Um, and I just, I love it so much. And I talk about it in my top five highlighter video, so I won't go too much into it. But I will give you guys some swatches in case you're interested. Um, this is just a really, really finely milled powder. And I only really use these two. I never use the, the pink one because I, I don't know, I find that kind of weird. But this deeper one, like that's perfect for deeper skin tones and it just looks so 
seamless on the skin. I am just like obsessed with this thing. So definitely try to get your hands on it. I feel like it's the best drugstore highlighter out there. I do want to try the Maybelline Master, Master something? Master Highlight? Oh, I forget the name, but I will be trying it soon. So yeah. <laughs> the next product is another product by Milani actually. I can't remember if I ever mentioned this in a favorites video before. And this is the Milani Stay Put Matte eyeliner and it is super super long wearing super black dries completely matte and it's really really easy to use so I love this eyeliner if you're looking for a good drugstore alternative for eyeliner I would highly recommend you check this out um, it's Milani so it's fairly inexpensive and I just I love it so much I'll give you guys a swatch of it um, probably not gonna be able to remove this from my hand to be honest but it is just like so dark and so black like oh Ooh, I have a lip favorite one lip favorite which is very surprising um, but this is actually by an indie brand it is called um, Sunna Cleor Cosmetics um, interesting story with this oh by the way this is in the shade velvet apple it looks like this um, this is actually the shade that I was wearing in my VidCon vlog at the end um, that really bright matte red color that I was wearing a lot of you were asking about that this is the lip color that I was wearing and funny story I was actually supposed to work with this brand last year and then I sat down to do a lip swatch video and I just I, I don't know I hated the way they swatched on my lips um, so for a while they were just kind of like in the bottom, I didn't end up doing the video obviously because I didn't really like them, um, which goes to prove I do not accept sponsorships unless I absolutely love the product, like I accepted the sponsorship and then I sat down and while I was filming it I was just like nah I cannot fake this, I cannot just like, I don't know, I just, I felt weird about it so I emailed the brand, luckily they were very sweet, they were like we totally understand and we, we love your honesty so, um, we lightly separated <laughs> um, uh, but yeah this was like in a, a bin I don't know somewhere in my room and I just picked it up one day and I tried this color and I just fell in love with it so I feel like the formulas maybe were just different depending on which color but this color is like my favorite red now like it's my go-to red and um, I'm happy that it's actually a indie brand I believe they are black owned but don't don't quote me on that, I don't know 100%, but um, so bomb. Like if you are deeper skin tone, even darker than me or something, and you're looking for a red that's not too intense, that you don't need to wear um, like a, a lip liner with, and that will last all day, that's the one thing I love about this. It literally lasts, guys. Sometimes it will kind of flake off here, but for the most part, like this lasts all day with oily food, with anything like it just lasts and it's dry it's not tacky and I just I love this so much so definitely check them out um, I love supporting small brands so definitely check them out in the description box if you are looking for the classic perfect red so love this um, I have a favorite fa fragrance of the month this is black opium by YSL and this is what it looks like it's just the rollerball version um, I was on Sephora a while ago and I got like a mini sample of this and I absolutely fell in love with it and then I searched up the price for the full size and it was like over a hundred dollars and I'm like maybe I don't love this so I'm just gonna no it's fine it, it was I but then I saw that they had a rollerball and these are only like 30 bucks so I was like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it again because I love this scent like oh my god like it feels the best way for me to describe it is like, it's definitely sexy, like the first word that comes to mind is sexy. Oh my god, just go to Sephora and smell it, like this is my favorite sort of like big girl scent. Um, and it's not fruity, it's more of like a musky scent. I just love it, I love it so much. And I always get compliments every time I wear this. And then I have two skincare favorites, so the first one is actually by Caudalie. This is a very heavy bottle. Um, they sent this over just for consideration to see if I'd like it, um, and I, I've been really liking this. It looks like that. It looks like I haven't really used a lot, but you honestly just need such a small amount of this that it like does not finish quickly, which is awesome because this stuff is expensive. <laughs> so you better use it sparingly. Um, but this is their Vino Perfect Essence um, concentrating 
concentrated brightening essence for all skin types and it looks like this it is so beautiful I love putting it up on my little um, skincare vanity but this is I use this as a toner and it's supposed it's supposed to like um, brighten your skin so if you have any dark marks if you suffer, suffer from hyperpigmentation or specifically a lot of the times in the summer um, that's when your skin can become a little more discolored so this just really helps it evening out all that discoloration um, and all I do is I just like after I cleanse my face, I make sure my hands are clean, I just kind of put a little bit on my hands, go like this, and then just sort of press that into my skin. You could use a cotton swab, or, or not a cotton swab, a cotton pad, um, but I think it's, I don't know, I, I think it's great just using it with your hands, and it's a lot easier and less wasteful, so yeah, that's how I use it, and I've been really liking it, so I will have the link down below to the Sephora link if you guys want to read more into it. There's a ton of benefits, and I love Caudalie in general. Their skincare is, like, top of the line, um, but still, like, affordable. Affordable? It's still, like, high-end, but, like, more affordable than, like, a Sunday Riley or Drunk Elephant or something, but... Yeah, definitely check this out. Their whole Vino Perfect line is really good for people that have hyperpigmentation, um, skin discoloration, and stuff like that. So uh, maybe if you're not into this, they also have a serum that's really good. So I'll just have the link down below. You guys can check it out. Do your own research. Last but not least, I have this by Tarte. This is their Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist, and it looks like this. Um, and I didn't expect much from this, but when I started using it, I noticed it just leaves a very, very beautiful dew to the skin. So I actually don't like, sorry, my eyelashes are itchy. Do you ever find like in between your lashes is really itchy? And it's like an awkward place to scratch. Anyways, <laughs> totally random. Since I'm a person that doesn't like to wear makeup all the time, I only really wear makeup when I'm going to events or if I'm filming. Um, other than that, I am like 80 percent of the time barefaced so this is my favorite product for that because sometimes I feel like even if I even after I put on moisturizer my face can look a little dull um, so this kind of adds back the, the the liveliness to my skin so before I head out I just spritz a little bit of this on my face and it just leaves a beautiful glow and dew so I have some on my face already and as you can see it just looks very healthy and it has like a natural glow over here. It just makes your skin look really beautiful. And I love the smell of this. It's kind of like a cucumbery smell. It smells like, like you're at the spa or something. I don't know. It smells really, really good. But yeah, I'd give this a try. I think they sell it at Sephora. So next time you're in Sephora and you're barefaced, spray it on your face and then see what I mean. I think it's great. And yeah, maybe I'll put a little more on. I do want to try it with foundation though. Like I feel like if I'm going for an extra dewy look, then this could actually look really good. But do you see? I just love the glow. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything for this favorite. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. As always, I want to know what your favorites were for the month of June or just what your current favorites are right now. Please let me know in the comments down below. I love checking out your recommendations. Once again, thank you for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you for always supporting my channel and just showing so much love. I honestly cannot thank you guys enough for how many opportunities you've brought into my life and how much joy and just just amazingness. I just love you guys so much. So thank you. I can't wait to talk to you guys again um, on my video on Monday. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, which I just said would be Monday. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.